Welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Fay here with another episode of Harvest Moon Tale of Two Towns. We skipped ahead to Fall 26, which is the Alpaca Festival. Go to Town Hall at noon. And then we're also gonna probably finish up fall, get into winter, and get our upgrades. <laughs> Morning, Mal. You gotta get up early when you work on a farm, huh? Alright, let's get to work. The animal's gonna wake up at their leisure and consume stuff. Alright, eggs. Chicken. Oh, but I actually don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know like, how many hearts my alpaca has. I'm assuming it's almost full hearts. You actually don't need full hearts to win the festival. Animal stats. <laughs> Eight. Hope, it, hope that's enough. Maybe we should give it some extra love today. I also need to give him some treats. I think I'm on veggie treats for the alpaca. Oh, my cows. I only have four grain treats, so... Uh, it says I give 19 grain treats to my cows. Hopefully... I can buy some more soon? Here's the cows, because I need one more to level up. That, that kind of sucks that I'm like one off from leveling up. Uh, mark that off. Mark that off. Sheep? I don't know what I need for the sheep, actually. Mm, I'll give you a veggie treat. I like gave it all the treats, but I think I might have miscounted, so I'm just giving it like one of everything <laughs> and see if that boosts it up. Alright, who, who else needs a bath? I know someone else does. Not you. <laughs> Oops. Oh, the odds, I, I like. I brushed a. <laughs> In that cluster of cows, I brushed the one that I already washed. Alright, let's milk. Okay, are my Jersey cows still at level 2? Yeah, still at level 2. They need one flipping grain treat. And I'm missing- I'm all out of grain. Oh, the bug Cheryl. I don't want to have to, like, park myself outside the shop, though, every day. Milk you? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, yeah, it's been a kind of a slow morning today. <laughs> I haven't like gotten up to recording until like noon. Usually I try to start early. Get as much done as possible. But not today. I just been like looking for stuff to read. <clears throat> I decided to read a boy's love. Manga or manhwa. I think it's originally. I, I think it's Korean. Though. The names sound very Korean. <laughs> oh, the new recruit. Steamy office romance. Oh god. Please stop. <laughs> okay, turn. Go straight. Thank you. Uh, Alright, I can gather some materials. Festival starts. So that gets the bag space free. Unless I can just keep that. Maybe there's a request that that requires milk. Those are usually easy to do. I haven't checked the request board in a while. It's a secret. You want eight fluorite and eight diamonds. <laughs> well, you better give me 99 of everything, Jesus. No, though. You know how hard it is to get that? To get one. You want me to get eight? Egg, rice, and sponge cake. I would get some wine for that. Blueberry. Bread. Snack. Pickled bread. That is actually not so bad of a request. Carrot. Rice stocking gear. Gerbera. I was gonna collect some rocks for three minutes. 
drinking today. Like, I ended up choking on some... on some pepper this morning. I peppered up my eggs too much. And now it really hurts. What have I done? Little sneaky dragonfly I noticed in the tree trunk. Need a really sneaky place to like hide a bug. What are you? Like a very common bug. Chestnut? I don't really need the chestnut. Like, I do need the chestnut. I should probably save it, but I'm also, like, terrible at inventory management in this game. We Check over here. A little gathering note here. Trumpet mushroom. All the brown mushrooms. Are they this season? I feel like the fall season has like a crap ton of mushrooms. But not every single mushroom type exists in the same in the same season. Skewed. Also, I kinda hate how there's like five different mushrooms. It's like, oh, there's a shiitake and coral and Trumpet and brown, Dimeji. I was like, man, why does, why are there so many? Maybe they stack differently. I like the old days when it was just mushroom, and then the expensive truffle. Well, it wasn't even that expensive. It was just hard to find. <clears throat> do, do, do. I remember I thought, like, the truffle and Friends of Mineral Sound was, like, the rarest item in the game. But, like, I didn't know... I kind of knew how to get the mis the the mythic blessed tools. But I thought it was, like, so hard to go into the mines. I was always afraid to, like, go deep into the mines to even find those tools. It was, like, it's actually not that bad. It's a grind. Kid me just, like... Couldn't handle the grind, though. Averted. Averted my gaze. I could never break that rock that was by the lake to get that truffle that was like hiding there. I also thought it was so hard to make friends in the game too, so like I never befriended Carter <laughs> to get behind the church either. Right, now I'll sell stuff. I don't want these anymore. Uh, I think I'm saving some herbs. Only the highest quality that I can attain <clears throat> at the moment. Gotta wait till year 10 to get full 5 stars. Oh, hello! Dum -da -da -da, you've earned 150,000 steps on your horse. Congratulations! You're getting even better with horses. Keep at it. I'll keep up the good work. Toodles! I wasn't expecting that. Alright. And now it's time to start the Fall Animal Festival of what do you want to do. Let's start. Well then, pick an animal you want to enter. I only have one alpaca. Play eight hearts is enough. Enter Wade, yes. Um, if I lose, it's not actually that bad because I don't think there are like great quality products that a alpaca can produce. It's like it's not on the shipping list. There's one for a sheep, there's one for cow, there's one for chicken. It's like they forgot about the alpaca. Thank you all for coming to the alpaca festival today. Now let's meet our competitors. Got, oh, got a brown fluffy alpaca. Got a white one and we got our bald one over here. Here we are. First up, we have Ash and Zoe. 
Next, we have Milan and Wade. And finally, Emily and Astra. Also, Emily, you're very purple. Purple hair, purple overalls. What a fine group we have today. I can see just how close you are with your animals. Well, let's see just who has the strongest bond. Now let's begin the judging. Clearly Wade with all his hopping around. Sorry for the long wait, it's time to announce the results. In third place, Ash and Zoe as usual. For some reason, like, the local person always like gets third. Next up in second place, Emily and Astra. Woo, okay. And finally, first place, beating out the other competition by a mile. Malone and Wade. I think we had... Okay, that was like six hearts. No. Ten hearts is 100% win. At six hearts, you have like an 80% chance to win. So eight hearts is like probably in like the 100% range. If you have... It's kind of funny you could add zero hearts, you can still get like second place though. Like your animal just absolutely hates you, but like for Ash, the animal just hates it even more. Alright, we won. What a thrilling contest. Now let's have a round of applause for our fine contestants. Did it. Be my reward. A thousand friendship points and plus 30 friendship points of the animal. And congratulations, Milan. Here's your prize. The physical prize is... That looks like a, a yarn ball. This is your fifth win, Milan. That's quite impressive. It just shows how much you love your animals. Ooh, I also get a trophy. We've made a war for you, which we'll send to your house. Congratulations. Well, Milan, keep up the good work. It should be, yeah, it should be the animal trophy. Great yarn ball. It's only two stars. <laughs> ball of the finest yarn. Use as clothing material. Cats won't play with it. All right, so don't try to chuck it. Chucking it will do nothing for the cat. Probably just gonna sell it. It's only two stars. And you can't even make clothing with it. <laughs> All the clothing requests require just yarn, or just required wool, rather. Yep. Alright, lavender. That's about it. Dirk, Dirk, I won! I won first place! You weren't there! Alright, well, let's skip. Oh, right, the trophy. <laughs> Here's my trophy, it's gold. Yeah, the, like, the color doesn't even matter. Um, animals were being weird. Yeah, the colors just kind of indicate, like, when you acquired it. So, like, we acquired the cooking trophy first, because we did a lot more cooking con- The game gives you a lot more cooking festivals <laughs> than anything. Um, if you just- if you wanted to be contrarian, you could, like, kind of avoid cooking festivals. I think this is, like, the common. Right, like, the common colors pe people get, though. Getting a gold cooking trophy would probably be really rare, because- yeah, you'd have to avoid a lot of festivals. Alright, let's continue. Yeah, let's go to bed without saving. We are now trying to get to winter. There's also the pumpkin festival on the 31st. We'll just give Cheryl something for that. Our baby won't exist, so there's no treats we can give it to the for the pumpkin festival. So now we're just trying to get to winter, get our farm upgrades going, see if we can get a pregnancy event. It's supposed to happen 31 days after getting the large bed. And or being married. Everybody. I think it's like highly unlikely <laughs> that uh you get like a baby like 
31 days after getting married. Probably because, uh, mostly because of the house upgrade, since it's so expensive, not many players get it right away. I'm a little bit curious. Did my sheep level up yet? Okay, it is at level 3 now. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give you a Nutra Treat. And then Alpaca gets Veggie Treat. Everyone else needs to be milked. Mark off what I gave. Well, it'll only take like a minute. After milking, we want to wait for Cheryl's and Jessica's shop to open up. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm gonna be a little bit degenerate today. I've been in the mood of reading lots of like boys love and. Possibly Yaoi manga, even though that's a little bit more raunchy than Boys Love, but I have been looking at a lot of what's available on Amazon. It's kind of funny, I'm just like trying to look at the preview, but for a lot of the manga, they don't let you preview that because it's like not really safe to show. Like, why won't you let me see before I buy? What are you hiding from me? I think I saw like a weird one where it's like possessed by a ghost and in like parentheses it said yaoi manga. I'm like And I showed the ghost of like this delinquent boy. I was like, how is that gonna work? I'm gonna get down with a ghost. Kinda funny like how they can just Imagine a relationship with like literally anything. <laughs> like humans are humans are degenerate. They're just like, oh, a ghost. Can I sleep with it? Confusing emotions. Why am I gathering that? I actually don't need that many herbs. Oh, there's like the herb butter. That I'm going to need to make for certain recipes. <laughs> Alright, a lot of blueberries. I just want branches and rocks, please. Yay, a rock! Best day ever. All right, let's go check out the store. <laughs> Keep the day short. We gotta check check stock and then go right to sleep. Show me the goods. Show me the greens. Veggie treat. Rip. I have plenty of veggie treats. I guess I'll buy more though. <laughs> Take five. All right, Cheryl. See you tomorrow. I wonder if I should wear my. I talked to you today, right? It was so rewarding to deliver something someone was eagerly waiting for. <sighs> Sorry, it's thirsty. For a quest board too. Delivery. Uh, I del a, del a delivery customer of mine ordered something, but we also said he didn't have it in stock. Does anyone have any to share? Apple jam. Technically, yeah. I would have to make it, but... Coffee tree seed? There's no way you're, you're gonna get that done unless you have it ahead of time. Pink fondue and jelly bread as a midnight snack. Nope. Alright, let's go to bed. How's the weather for tomorrow? Tomorrow will be sunny all day. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I probably should just wear my cute kimono to keep it sunny so the stores stay open, but... I'll 
get my classy outfit on because Dirk likes it. <clears> Today <throat> is a cooking festival. Never mind, I can't even shop today. And I can't shop tomorrow. How sad. No, I can't get any progress with my Jersey cows. Flipping the one treat that I need. And it's not like the other story of Seasons games where you can just like beat it the other treats. And it'll still count for like the subsequent level. No, that is not how it works. Like it'll just go to nowhere. Uh, sheepy. Care for you. Edgy for you. Get off my list. seen us yet. Mine. Get the other one. Y you can wait, dog. Kuro. Kuro. I just need my dog's Kuro and Shiro. <laughs> you don't know, just name them colors. Do, do, right. well, simple day. Let's go to bed again. Food. That's not food. Ya dingus. It's food. Do, do, do. Got to put away the herbs. Cook for breakfast. Alright, let's go to bed. Wednesday, we can't do any shopping either. Big rip there. Morning, Mal. Uh, <laughs> I'm still sleepy. Be unseasonably warm today. It's sunny in the morning, but rainy in the afternoon. Ah, eh, the shops will still be open, so I can keep my outfit on. This is my life now. If I wanted to off screen, I <laughs> technically off screen. I should like be waiting around for the general store brothers to like do their event. I was doing that um, when I was taking care of my pineapples because I, like, I was already staying up until like after six anyway. Yeah, I'm like still trying to get that counter up to a hundred to see if the dialogue changes after a hundred times, allegedly. pen that actually has ink in it. Mixed together. Hop on them. Separate them. I wonder what Harvestman game I should play next. I've been kind of at a loss of what to play next. Just... Oh god, cow, I'm freaking out over there. Because, like, I'm not too familiar. I. I want to play Island of Happiness before I play Sunshine Island, 
but I'm not like familiar, too familiar with like either of those games. Like I do need to practice with those. And Grand Bazaar. It was like during the era which I did not play. So many harvesting games. Or I didn't buy anything new. Like that's that was the thing. I never asked for like anything new during that time. I just replayed old stuff. It was like, hmm, what should I play next? I remember playing a lot of A New Beginning, but I feel like there was some aspects that I didn't understand in that game. Played Story of Seasons, and, and I played Story of Seasons Trio of Chows, but I feel like those games are like, really vast. I kinda wanna play something older. Let's go to bed. Yeah, I'm just like not sure what to play next. <laughs> I just play a bunch of non-Harvest Moon games while I think about it. Like, also at a loss if I want to do a Rune Factory game, or if I want to wait for, like, all the special editions or ports to come out, because they're kind of hinting that they're gonna do a Rune Factory port of 1 and 2 if 3 Special did well. Like, should I wait? I don't know. <laughs> and, like, I know a lot of people are, will be expecting, like, more farming content. So I'm like, oh god, the pressure's on. I just kind of, like, pick what I feel at the moment. Kind of why I dance around these games. Just <laughs> the rim. Uh, treats. G. Make the cows outside. And also, Tides of Destiny too. I was like considering Tides of Destiny, for the Rune Factory game, Tides of Destiny. Like <laughs> for. I'm thinking about doing it after Frontier. Because it was during the era. Um. I marked off the wrong treat. Alright, well, well. Yeah. yeah, it was during the era where I could only record console games. I did not have the ability to record 3DS games, but. That limited what games I could play. The games had to be able to project either through an AV cable or an HDMI or else I wasn't able to record it, but now I have the world at my fingertips. <laughs> the music skipped from might have just been my headphones. Didn't melt. Didn't melt everybody yet, did I? I feel like I missed someone. Yeet! No, I guess I did. Yeah, I just everything's divisible by the number of animals I have. Uh, let's go shopping. I guess a wonderful life remake is coming out soon. I guess I can like tide over, tide over people until then. Because I do want to stream it. Or at least the Japanese. The Japanese version of the game. I'll stream it. <laughs> Even though I won't be able to read it. I've been like trying to think like how maybe I could set up some device that would auto-translate the text. Because I they have like apps that can translate like signboards. Via like AI, but. <laughs> Might be a little bit difficult for like a computer screen to do that. There's probably a way, I just don't know how. Or I can just ignore the dialogue and just kind of guess what people are saying. <laughs> It'd be funny to do hard events. Be like when I, when they present you with a choice, just be like, 
I don't know. Just like do the thing where you you press up and down on the joystick, close your eyes and press A. Alright, it's almost ten. Don't really gather too much. <laughs> have like enough time to gather in one zone before the stores open up. Please have grains. I beg you. Ah, dang it. Fine. <laughs> it's not my three. I will not buy... I do need to buy some silky chickens, but I will not buy them until I get the green treats. I only have chickies. <laughs> gonna get, gonna get. I don't know if I want to get chicks or chickens. I have a bunch of little, little tiny turds running around. It'd be hard get having eight little chickens. Just have to count how many treats I gotta give them. Count to eight. Just imagine trying to like get the animals at different times and trying to give them at trees at different times. It's hard to identify which chicken is which. Alright, next day. How's the weather for tomorrow? Sunny. Probably sunny. Okay. My animals are eating so much food. Stop it. Go to bed without saving. It's the last day of fall. Do I have an event today? <laughs> or do I have to wait till tomorrow? Cause it's a festival day. Today is the pumpkin festival. Make a tasty dessert. It's the end of the month. I need to harvest my crops. Morning, Mal. You look really pretty this morning. Also, I don't know. It says if I have a full-grown child that I can participate in the event uh, by going your, into your house between 6 to 10. I don't know if, uh, hmm. I don't know if your husband... Like, does the event, too. That's a long time to wait. Because <laughs> I know in DS... In DS and DS cute. Um, your husband would make you desserts, but that was like an event after 12. <laughs> I don't know if I want to check. Veggie. Ultra. Guess it wouldn't hurt. I'll just have to gather some stuff today. I'm dancing. Let me burn their. This <laughs> is pure frustration. Oh, you know what I can do today? I can pound rocks. That's how we can kill some time. What do I need for the construction request? Building expansions. I think with a pet playpen. I need 25 stone, material stone, and 10 lumber. A lot of stone. But yeah. I have enough. Are you gonna share ice cream? <laughs> I gotta enter my house after eight. Grab one of these just in case. <laughs> the ice cream. I do want to make her like a fresh pudding though. 
Magdis. Hello! Hello, Cheryl. It's the pumpkin festival, so give me some candy. Alright, hang on, let me cook you something. <laughs> I don't think you could even do this in your life. In real life, they wouldn't even let you give, like, stuff that's not already packaged. Made pudding. For the current recipe, it's about the same. Here you go. Yay! Thanks, Milan. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Happy. Okay. Yeah. So I'm also I'm mildly curious to see if uh, maybe I can do a pumpkin festival with my husband after six, but it says it's only for the full a fully grown child, so. Not too confident on that part. Anyway, well, let's uh, gather some materials. And pound our rocks. In the meantime. I wonder what the next festival is gonna be. Winter. This Winter Harmony Day. I guess we'll just give chocolate to our husband. I wonder if Dirk participates. He's in Bluebell now. Let's see if I can get 25 of a single quality of rock. Yep. Is open today? Looks like it. Oh, hey, Mel. I'm actually in the middle of work. I'll catch up with you later. Now, where was I going again? The route's all screwed up. Buy some pet food while I'm here. Oh, why 20? 20 something. Planted not a Shiko. Spaghetti soup. Got fruit wine for that. Pink one. No, yeah, we already saw that request. Alright, just a bunch of junk. Girl, are you enjoying that pudding in the morning? Milan, will you talk to me about girl stuff, like cute boys? What, you, you, <laughs> you'll just talk about your brother the whole time. What's it like to be married? I want to get married too. Hopefully not to your brother. Good morning, Milan. You look busy, like a good farmer should. Married life is treating you well. You look better than ever. Thanks. I kinda should probably talk to the people. I haven't like talked to anyone since I got married. Except for some of the boys who like promptly just asked me out on a date. Hey, good morning, you're looking well. She's still a kid, but she's very responsible for her age. How about you, Georgia? How are you in here? Morning, Eli's look fit as a fiddle. Just fine, it's so relaxing here. Can only talk about marriage stuff if you're inside. Morning there, Milan, you look half asleep. If you're in a little bit more alert, you might trip and fall. There's a nice to have someone to come home to, isn't it? No, oh, are you thinking about your own wife? Wait, this is, actually, this seems like a big tripping hazard, just like having your kitchen up here. I always felt weird to have like a kitchen and then stairs leading to the dining room. You're like, what if you're carrying like a really big plate of food, a platter of something, just cascade down the stairs? Hello, fellas. Good morning, Milan. You're so impatient. Go to the counter if you want to order something. Oh, good morning, Milan. How's work going? I always feel at peace when I'm with you. I guess that what is what I mean is that you're a really important person in my life, Milan. Don't say that. I'm married. Good morning, Milan. How's it going? Make sure to stop by often. Giving me feelings here. Yeah, it just seems like he's such a flirt too. Regular treats, really. <laughs> All right, let's go to the mountains for some 
rocks. Looking, not too interested in anything but materials. Trumpet. Oops, put this down. Yeah, I'm like really stuffy today. <laughs> this is like the worst time for me to record. so bad. I just feel really fidgety. Enjoy the fall music while it lasts. <laughs> it was a it was a short fall. Even shorter winter. Notice you, you blend in. What? No. Oh, I missed. Get so happy to find a rock. Oh man, it's not gonna be fun trying to get oh, the last thing where I need 99, 99 flipping branches and rocks. Anything here? No, nothing hiding in the tree line? Oh, there's a bear. Hi. Trigger any animal friends? Nope. Never get any gifts from the animals. <laughs> My own dang fault, though. Ate one raw. Whoops. <laughs> Eat it. Also, you don't have anything for the bird, though. It's so easy to pet friend the bird, though. Just give him rice. You can buy it. I don't see that stick. Wait, do the monkeys like eggs? Well, the monkeys already love me, so... Like, it's that big of a deal to feed them. I'll share with your little friend down there, okay? He's sucking, <laughs> sucking the yolk out of that egg. Dang it, I keep eating it. <laughs> you get an egg! You get an egg! Everybody gets an egg! I said you get an egg and eat it. There you go. It's fine. I'm just gonna like sell these anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I accidentally eat it. It's only worth like a couple hundred. Jump change, fellas! materials, practically, unless there's a bunch up here. Rock. Put 
much. Need. That wasn't too many, too many rocks. <laughs> we'll smash what we have. And you want an egg as well? For the memories, my first, my first friend. You don't even want it. I didn't already feed you, did I? God, you're being weird. Eat it. He's like, no, let me love you. <laughs> it just touches me and he's like, tee -hee. Frolics away. Oh, I touched her! <laughs> Alright, what's a safe spot to pound this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Let's start with that. I don't want to put too many in the ground. Might, might cause some issues on the screen. Just like hit them all at once. I think that was a thing. The future games, they made it easier. They just like, hey, you have a you have a stack, you throw the stack and you hit it and it transforms the stack for you. None of this one at a time shtick. lag, because the game doesn't like 11 things on the screen. One, two, three, is that all of it? Now we just need four more. Which is... One, two, three, four. Hi, Dirk, I don't want to hit you. One, two. That would be bad if I... <laughs> well, so let's wait for him to pass. There you go. Okay. Imagine I like... Right before I'm supposed to get the pregnancy event. Just... Lower my spouse's affection. Not as many lumber. Well, at least it's not as bad as some of the other games where they're just like, you need 900. <laughs> you need 900 lumber. Oh, there he goes. Super speed. Super speed Dirk. At least in those games, you were able to buy the lumber off Gots. It's six. I don't think there'll be an event at six, though. Based off the fact that your, your husband's probably not even at home yet. Save that one. Sell this one. That. We will check. We have gotten this far, so we won't hurt to check. Just imagine he just like teleports back home and be like, hey, honey! You want some cake? We don't get any cavities. Yeah, nothing at six. Oh, poop. Ah, I feel better. Animals trying to join me. Join me in the restroom. It's kind of weird, like, when I- when I go to the bathroom, my cat goes to the bathroom, too. Like, I have the litter box in the bathroom, like, next to the toilet. It's like, oh, we're- we're pooping together, how nice. The family that poops together stays together. I feel like it might be weird for the guests, though. I don't really have a better place to put the cat box, though. Like, the limited space in my, my room. 
can't put it out in like the living room or garage because I have to keep my cat separated from my sister's cat. You know, the bathroom seems like the best place. Just gotta make sure that like you don't step on the sand or like get water on it because then it like kind of melts if it's like too saturated with water. Gotta get your sandy mitts. Husband should almost be home. Did he react to the dog? I haven't even like shown animals. Oh, that's so cute. Let me pet it. I forgot about like showing animals to people. Thank you, Mal. I'll wait for him to stop moving. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, there's no, uh... There's no pumpkin festival in this game for your family. I guess it's only if you have a kid that's fully grown and can accept the candy. Alright, well that answers my question. Yeah, because it was a thing in DS and DS Cute. Double check. Yeah. Alright, to bed! Do one or two more days, I don't, I'm not sure. I bet that's saving. It's been 31 days since we bought that bed. Here we go. Yep, alright. I don't feel so good. <laughs> hey, what is it? You're so pale! I'll go get Ayame. She'll know what's wrong. Just hang in there, okay, Mel? Oh, such a serious face. Serious Dirk. I don't see that face often. Gotta, gotta run all the way to Konohana to get the doctor. He has practice in running. You're not feeling well. You do look pale. Now let's take a look. Yes. Oh my. <laughs> Hope you two are ready for an exciting change in your life. You're going to be parents. What? Congratulations, you're gonna have a baby. Really, Dirk? What? A, ba a baby? <laughs> wow, I'm so happy. <laughs> so I'm gonna be a dad. I can't wait to see if it's a boy or a girl. Think of names, Dirk. <laughs> well, I'll be off then. Call me when the time comes. I'll come right over. Thank you! I'm so glad you were here, Ayame. We'll see you later. You're very welcome. Don't work too hard now. I take good care of Milan. Yeah, your, your husband don't even do any farm work, though. You're just, like, heavy with baby, and he's like, Nope! You take care of all the livestock. Imagine you got like a stamina debuff for like being pregnant. Alright, we're having a baby. Wow, gonna be a father. Still doesn't feel real to me though. Wonderful, make a good dad. What do you think, Mal? I stay silent on the matter. It's okay, Dirk. Figure it out together. Everyone's nervous at first. Alright, so our baby should come in two seasons, so 62 more days. So like, I guess like equivalent of like nine months. <laughs> Since it's, it takes like a whole season before like it's apparent that you're pregnant. It's, like pregnancy signs don't like show up right away. Um, so that would be, what day would that be? Hmm, that's gonna happen on our wedding anniversary. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if it's going to let the baby be born then, or if it's gonna push it back a day. And if it does let the baby be born on the wedding anniversary, how is that gonna affect the birthdays? Is it gonna be like a combined event, or are they just gonna do one or the other? I wonder how they program that. Alright. Well. Yeah, let us... Yeah, it's the first of the season, so it's time to get... Some upgrades. 
Uh, we shouldn't have anything at Konohana, so like no more tool upgrades. It's just gonna be from Eileen and Oracle. But we don't have the money to, to deal with the Oracle, Oracle right now. We need 15 more mil for that. Uh, right, Nutri Treat. Actually, Nutri Treat for nobody. We're gonna give a Veggie Treat. Treat. Veggie Treat. Yeah, I think we're done with the Veggie Treats with the sheep. If you wanted to manipulate uh, the gender of your baby, you can actually do that in this game. Um, I think the gender of your child in this game is set two days before the birth, instead of like the day prior, or... I if it was which game it was. Was it DS? There's one game where it was determined on your wedding day, so it was just kind of like fat chance and manipulating that, but... Yeah, in this game, if you wanted to have, like, a boy or a girl specifically, you just, um, save scum two days before your baby's born, instead of one day before. So I guess if our baby is supposed to be born on the 1st, we would save on the 30th? Yeah, like, a week sleep to the 31st, and then sleep again until the 1st. It's kind of like the weather in this game, since they, they determine weather like two days prior in this game versus the day prior. Like the old days where you'd scum in Friends of Mineral Town, trying to avoid every single storm. I want to basically see how many requests we have on that board. Should be none. Then we'll just turn back around Father Eileen. That way we'll kind of kill a little bit of time before Cheryl shows her wares. Watering. Got a tofu burger for that. Don't really need to do it though. I'm already at request level 10, so I don't need the request points. Alright. I'm kinda of sad. <laughs> don't have don't have to bother Shang for anything anymore. Renovations. Luckily, it's gonna be a farm renovation this time. No more bed upgrades. Old memories. Another request from Melissa. Still gotta get the money for that, so we won't even pick it up. We're not gonna be able to finish it. Open yarn ball. More yarn balls. Alright, let's go bother Eileen. How you doing? Milan, good morning! I love mornings, no matter what the weather. Talk about the request. Oh, I'm glad you came. I've been waiting for you. Let's get right down to business. Do you want to expand your farm? There are some different things you can do. You don't to, need to explain. Nope. This a million times before. I don't need to explain? Okay, I knew you were a sharp cookie. In that case, what kind of expansion would you like to do? Alright. Did this. So our options are make honey. Uh, which are the bee boxes. Uh, expand pasture again, which would let us raise 16 livestock instead of 11. Or have more space for pets. Um, we want to do the more space for pets, which will be a pet playpen. It will help our, our new pets gain affection faster. Because <laughs> um, after the pet playpen, it'll kind of clear out the area 
um, where we can later on, next upgrade will be the maker shed, which I'm desperately waiting for butter and cheese so I can keep cooking. But yeah, I'll do more space for pets. Okay, so get the materials together and bring them. Once you do that, I can get right to work. You ordered the following pet playpen. Check your requests. All right. So it's 10 lumber, 25 material stone, and 40,000 gold. We easily make that money now. Make more space for pets. So you want to make a pet playpen, right? I'll get things ready, so all you need... All, all I need is for you to have the materials I have written here. Thanks. All right, I got the materials. <laughs> you look so happy now that you're married, Milan. Sure am. So, been, so you want to renovate? I've been waiting for this. Now then, can I get the items I requested? Waiting all season. <laughs> Give the requested items. Thank you very much. Now the money, that's 40,000 gold. Thanks for all your hard work. I've got it now. Let's head to your farm. I'll do it in a jiffy. Wait one moment, it won't take long at all. Go blow some stuff up. Disturb my livestock with that dynamite, all right? I'm all done. It came out pretty well, if I do say so myself. I cut down some trees to give your pets more room to play. You'll make your cats and dogs really happy if you let them play here. You have to go check it out for yourself. You can use it right away. Well, the work's all done, so I'm gonna head home. See you later. Check it out. Alright, it's up here. And then we'll be able to expand upwards soon. Yeah, that's a little area. A little, a little area for the cats to jump on, some toys. Um, your animals will come in here independently to play in here. Well, let me see if it'll let me, like, toss someone in there. <laughs> they'll just kind of, like, hop around and play. The cats will just stand on here. Well, the dog, too, I guess. <laughs> this is hanging out. Here is my other cat. <laughs> like you need you need some uh, affection boost too. Play. I can chuck him in there. Um, but yeah, you don't need to throw him in there. A lot of times they'll just go in there on their own. Uh, I'm not sure how many affection points there are. Uh, I think 15. 15 friendship points a day. That's quite a lot, actually. <laughs> Because feeding them gives them two friendship points, so like a whopping 15 is pretty nice. Yeah, this will like boost them up real fast. Unfortunately, it does have limited use. Um, if you had your pet for a while and they're already at like 10 hearts, it's like kind of useless to you at that point. But it does add to the aesthetic. Yeah, <laughs> like letting your pets have fun. Alright, so that's it for now. Uh, let me check the store. But otherwise, yeah, we'll end up going to sleep. Um, and we'll just keep playing until probably the 14th. Which is... Winter Thanksgiving or Winter Harmony Day. I'll see what we can give our... If we can give out chocolate to how many people. I'm kind of wondering if I can still give it to the bachelors and if they still react to it. Because I want to see Michael's reaction. If not, no big deal. We'll just give it to our spouse. And then we'll see if we can maybe play. It'll be a lot of it'll be a lot of just like sleeping, but Yeah, the, the next plan would be to just 
sleep all the way to winter. <laughs> to sleep all the way through winter until starry night. I guess I could, like, just kind of record a bit here. And then do the rest off screen, just to kind of spare you this, the, the grinding. That's what I did before. With, uh, like, a lot of the family events when I recorded DSQ. I just kind of, like, alright. Record birthday. Alright. Part one. <laughs> just play the rest off screen, record next birthday, and just kind of splice it together in my editor. Alright, well that's the plan for now. Maybe that, that'll be a better way to do it. Alright, anywho. That's it for now. Just can't wait for spring. <laughs> now I'm just now I'm just eagerly awaiting more farm upgrades and for my baby to be born as well. Hope you guys had a relaxing time, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Uh,